Hi everybody, my name is Mitch or Marie-Michelle Gagnon. I am from the Canadian Ski Team and I thought I would share with you guys a little bit of what we do outside of just racing and ski training. So right now we're driving from Zurich to Zanal where we're going to be training for two days of GS. And we've got Sarah here, our physio, who's been driving for how many hours? Uh, 27 or 28. So she's been driving for 28 hours. She drove all the way from Are um, to Zurich and picked us up and now she's driving with us to Zanel. So she's really, really good at driving now. Look at her. She just looks, <laughs> <laughs> she just knows what she's doing. She's so really comfortable in the Audi, but she really is loving that um, GPS system that tells us where we're going to go eat and stuff. It's pretty awesome. And back there we got M Michaela and MP who are really nice and <laughs> cuddly back there. The cuddle monsters at their best. <laughs> um, they're, yeah, you know, just had to fit everything in what we could and there's the bags. This is just a little bit of our bags. This is just like maybe one third of our bags. The rest is with the coaches and the technicians. Um, see you soon. Ever since she bought it in Aspen, basically. Um, Two weeks. I think she sleeps with it too, <laughs> yeah. right? Work out in it. Um, so tell us more about this uh, obsession with Star Wars. Uh, I just really love Star Wars, and I saw this shirt, and we instantly had a connection in the store. Um, and ever since then, it's been on my skin. <laughs> kind of, it's a part of me, and. It's not gonna come off for sure, not before the premiere anyway. But when is the premiere? It's December 18th, in case anyone was wondering, and that's in three <laughs> days. I hope if you had the chance to buy some tickets, you did. And you guys can go, because I will not be watching it, I'll be in Europe. Who's going to be watching it at home? Who's the biggest fan? My little brother, for sure. He, um, I think he's taking a day off school to go watch it, and he's been planning it since like two years already, I'm pretty sure. And Wasn't it the story that he didn't want to come to Europe to watch you race because he didn't want to miss miss the premiere? Is that yeah, true? my parents were like kind of thinking like I'm going to watch a, a couple races and then they figured out the dates. It was like around this time and he was like, oh, uh, December 18th, I've got something planned. So that's not going to happen. <laughs> All right, you fans of Star Wars, go check it out. Yeah, may the force be with you. Hey, what's up everybody? We're in Zanel. So uh, this morning we there was about like this much snow on the ground and we had to slip uh, four runs before we even started in the course. But then it was amazing. The surface was so good. You can see kind of up there. This is the end of the course and it starts um, way up there. You got to take a T-bar and then another chair. So um, I think it was like a minute long. Yes, and it was great training and we love it here. The sun is out, it's shining. Um, after being a week in Sweden, where it's really dark, uh, it feels really good. So, see you again. Petsita, <laughs> Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw him, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Ho, 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 Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then all the reindeer loved him as they shouted out with glee. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. Hey Sarah, um, so we're in Zanel and uh, today was training, uh, we did some GS training and you had a special position today, can you tell us more about that? Yeah I did, normally I'm at the top of the course clearing and helping with timing and today there are lots of skiers skiing across our course so I was looping around, sliding, 
and uh, stopping people so that they wouldn't run into the athletes, you guys, as you came down. Awesome. It was fun. So basically you were a coach today. I was basically a coach today. Can you tell us uh, something about our skiing, something we can improve on? Um, yeah. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, moving through the corridor, <laughs> our kind of turns, skis upside down. Awesome. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah. Shemmy, um, I'll get here with MP over there. Woo! So, Shemmy, uh, tell us what you're doing lately. Well, I basically am a Canadian ski team stalker and I found out that you guys were coming to Zinal and I was looking for a good place to train with my group. So now we're here too. Woo! Um, but yeah, I'm coaching the next generation. I'm inspired to find future talent and you know, what we learn through sport is that it's not just about winning and losing, it's about character building and you know, you've got to be able to handle those tough times. So I set yeah. up a company to develop people through sport. And you're the best at it. You and Dougie together. Yeah, we work together. That's kind of tough being married and working together. I'm <laughs> definitely the boss. <laughs> and Pew, what's your what's your favorite song to to listen to in the start? Oh. Um, in the start, uh, these days probably Beyonce. Which one? Beyonce, <laughs> Be Queen. Um, I like the 7-Eleven. Okay. Like. I've got something to say to you guys. It yeah. only takes a small match to start an explosion. Ooh. <laughs> That's not actually right. I forgot <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, thanks, girls. See you. Bye. By the way, Shemi used to be on our team, so she's awesome. Bye. So we got Luca and Roland here, our coaches, and uh, we got some questions for you guys. Um, so if you guys get in, in a room, Together, what do you normally do um, when you have a, a tight bed? Do you like to, to move the beds apart or what do you do with them? Next question, please. <laughs> Next question. Yeah. Canada. No, okay. I can answer that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, sure. We're we going to separate the beds for sure. Yeah. All right. Um, what's you, you know, you want to you wanna know why? <laughs> yes, please. Ask him. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, next question. Do you roll around a lot? No. Do you both like moose? What is moose? Like a chocolate moose. <laughs> no. You love chocolate moose. Yeah, no, I, I eat if uh, nothing else available with sugar. Okay. And I eat it, otherwise I prefer biscuit. Biscuit. What's your favorite dessert? Tiramisu. Tiramisu, very Italian. You said it the other day. Yeah, or black but it's, uh, I was lying. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite uh, is yeah, something. After I thought it was Chambrole. That's that's same level, but you have a little bit of an advantage every now and then for Afterschulden. Okay, good. Thank you, guys.